good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're just getting ready to go out for the afternoon. We're going to the Black Isle. And uh, just got stuff to get organized before we leave. Oops. Nice hat. <laughs> oh, where's my water? I need my water. Right. Need to pick Dad up at the shed. How are the goats, Dan? How are the goats? That's good. You ready to go? Yeah. Cool. But why are you filming me? And put you on the video. Why? Stop it. You don't mind. Why are you filming me? Because you love me. No. <laughs> no. Water dripping <laughs> off it, but it turns out that was just sweat dripping off my hair. <laughs> like one. So it's just running for five miles. Too hot, never too hot. Yeah, the simple answer is just don't run five miles. waiting for some goat feed and some milk um, for the babies and then we will be on our way. I'm really excited. Their first, I'll read you their first impressions of the place because obviously there's a South African family. I've just gone to Australia and uh, can't see over the edge of the bridge unfortunately. You can stand down the bottom there. It's too warm. Here. Too warm. Can you believe anyone in the north of Scotland is saying it's too warm? It's probably about 20 degrees. Might be 24 actually. Okay, I'll have a look and then we'll see. Have a guess. How? How? What do you think the temperature is that my phone told me it is here? 22, you think? What do you think, Dads? You think 17? I think post office. You think post office? What do you think, Kevin? I already saw this. So, it was 18. <laughs> Bread, cakes, pies, ice cream, coffee. Yeah. It's 18 whole degrees. And we're sweating. So this little carpet. 
ferry here that fits two small cars on it. Pretty much the shortest ferry ride. Forever, if you had to drive all the way down here and then walk around and then all the way back up. So, what they do is just have a ferry to go across. What the shortest ferry journey? Well, in this country. In this country, at least. <laughs> oh, they haven't even closed it properly. They got the the um the ranger hanging off the back. <laughs> Just going to sink. No, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I want to be back in the back of that truck or in the front of that truck with my tail end hanging. Downwards. There they go. Appears to be the local um, place for movies. Danny, oh no, oh, there's people there. You'll see how big this place is. There, that's it. We've nice. just come here for a coffee now and uh, sitting outside in the sun. I must say, since uh, coming here, we seem to have acclimatized. You wouldn't believe, you wouldn't believe. Um, we actually lived in Australia and we were used to temperatures in the 30s and today it's like 18 degrees and it's plenty warm so we've clearly acclimatized um anyway there we have it you okay yeah <laughs> we spent um a little while in the thrift shop actually and ended up with buying books Kids are always wanting books and um, I like to see what I can get my hands on so we saw a new thrift shop that we hadn't been to before we haven't been here before so that's why and um, came out with six books which is very cool I doubt if I will read any of them I love reading but they're not my kind of books um, but hopefully the kids will enjoy them anyway oh don't skip this place for coffee. It's called the Slaughterhouse Coffee Shop and literally, seriously, it has the best coffee in the whole UK. Um, we've tasted since we've been back in. And so Brent, my husband, went into the coffee shop and was speaking to the ladies in there and he said, oh, that's the best coffee ever. And, uh, and then they said, oh, the guy that owns this Australian food, which is why it's the best coffee ever. We found most coffee in the UK to be kind of weak and yuck um, and this was what we got used to down under um, so it was really nice to have that really good tasting coffee again. so anyway I recommend it if you come up here it's not a house coffee shop it's in quality no jumping off <laughs> back home now so that is the end of our little um, tour around this teeny little part of Scotland where we were today I do hope you enjoyed coming along and I will see you for the next video bye